What's up folks? I'm gonna show you guys in the next video how to create a posi, a better lock for traction on accelerations, I guess. I don't know if it makes a difference, but it's definitely fun. So, as you can see in my skyline has it. Essentially, both of them are practically moving at the same time. Yeah. So. What's up, guys? It's me again. So, in the last video, I'm going to show you guys in this video what I did to pretty much, for the Gen 1s at least, uh, take the diff out and basically take it apart and sandwich a small piece of Nerf dart. And this is the Mustang. Mustang doesn't have it, so if you can see, the other wheel moves the opposite way freely, yada yada yada. And then this one is both locked, so you can see both both wheels move at the same direction. So every once it kind of slips a little bit, but not as like the, not like the Mustang, so it definitely makes a difference. I don't know if it really does make a difference, but at least it's locked. Whatever. So we're gonna fast forward. So I got the Skyline. I got the Mustang right here. We're gonna take part of this one and this one so I can kind of show you from the stock standpoint. And then the, um, are you getting down here? Okay, good job. And then I'm gonna show you, you know, what it looks like in the other one. Then I can know how, how, how uh, thick I cut it. So we're gonna fast forward and I'm gonna take these back. All right, so. As you can see here, I got the rear ends taken out. So we dropped the diff, essentially. So here's the Mustang one. What I do is just pop it out, no big deal. Here's the Skyline, my favorite one, just because I did it. It's a bit stuck on there. So, stock, this is the one with it. So first I'll show you up close what I did. So all you gotta do is just take these apart. Try not to do stuff. Magnetic tray usually helps. These are stuck to it. There we go. So, and this isn't my X mod, the Mustang, it's actually my buddies. So I'm actually, I guess, hooking them up. And we race each other and now I'm we're gonna be on the same. So I, all I did was, as you can see, this is the first part, and this goes next, and you have your three small gears, and then you're able to actually separate those. Um, crap! I wish I had tweezers. I took my glasses off because it's easier for me to see up close. Without them on, they're not even in there really. And then the last gear. So, basically, I don't remember where I put it. But I'm going to take part of the other one to show you. So, if you can look up close here. If you can look up close here. RJ, can you get up close? Can you see it? You see my example? The stock diff. Awesome. So, it's going to be for the folks up on the... Whoever watches this video, and I hope it helps them out. And I hope it's kind of helpful, help me out, kind of sitting there thinking about it and figuring it out, because I tried finding the rear diff gear, but I guess it doesn't really exist to lock it, but take the other one apart. So same, same thing, Start, starting at the top, so, boom, so we got this, this gear, same thing here. You got the middle of it, which holds the three middle gears, which is stuck, unfortunately. I can't even open it. Uh-oh. Might have to edit the video for a second if I can't get this bitch. Uh... So, I'm going to have to pop 
pause the video first. Okay, so I got it apart finally. So if we look down here, so here it is. So this is what I did. I totally remember now. Ta da! There's that little thing. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I did was I sandwiched it on the teeth side of the gear. And I sandwiched it just like that. You kind of see it. Nothing too crazy at all, but that's literally all it is. I mean, so I'm gonna basically put that in there and cut it to size. But yeah, real quick, I will show you. So literally, all I did is just um, thickness variation, I guess. But it was all sandwiched. So, I don't know. I guess you could say it's... I went about as thick as a nickel. You can go with any thicker. But it might be full locked completely. It might have just a little bit of slip. But, um, yeah, I just went as thick as a nickel. So, do this. Just a quick little cut. <gasps> Flying out of nowhere. I know, RJ. It's a good thing you got like 400 of these around the house. So, cut to size. So, all you gotta do is trim her up. So, basically, the size of this gear. Just trim it up and ta da! Awesome. All that stuff. <gasps> Tell me what you think, though. So. We're gonna pause the video and I'll fast forward. All right, so here's my masterpiece. Okay, custom made, you know. Boom, nothing special, just cut to size and all you gotta do is just cram it. You should actually, you shouldn't have to cram it in there. It should just go in there real nice like. Boop, 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 boop. And then put the other gear up on top. And then you put it all back together. And that's about it. And we will fast forward. Alright, so now we got both the cars put together. I'll show you the Mustang. As you see closely now, we got both wheels turning with the piece of Nerf darts in here. And that's what I did on my X Mod to create practically an LSD in the stock diff, essentially. I hope you guys liked the video, and have a good night.